today in this video, we're going to do the flashing the code onto one of these. Oh, wait a minute. One of these, a Adafruit Feather M0 Express. So when you buy one, it will arrive like this, pinless. Thankfully, they provide you with header pins that you will have to solder on yourself. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it is a bit fiddly, and you, that's why I bought those seeing eyes, so that I could actually get zoomed right in there to build those pins on. But if you can manage that, you can manage to build the rest of the board, which is in another video that's coming up soon, because what happened when I started making the video was I went on the JLC PCB website and quite a lot of the parts were out of stock so I spent a lot of the video going through parts trying to find replacements at which point I realised that I could design the board again not design the board again, I could change the components on the board so that it would let you just basically pick the board and then almost all of the bits would be ready on the board so you would basically get sent an almost complete board and I think like the only bits you would have to solder on uh, would be like, no, I mean the external components would be the two NTC thermometers and then basically all the just the wires for the power and the fan and the pump but everything else would be ready and you would just slot this onto the board and be ready to run so that is coming, it is a work in progress today I thought I would show you what you need to do to install all the software on your computer what to download, what to put in, so that you can flash this uh, chip with your uh, software. The very, very first thing I would have you do is go and find a USB cable that actually provides data. I don't know how long I spent plugging this in and nothing happening because they were just charger cables and they didn't actually support any data whatsoever. So you plugged it in it didn't make any noises because it was just trying to charge it and not actually providing any data. So that it would be my first step, find an actual USB data cable uh, that fits the USB micro? Is that micro mini? Micro? Uh, must be micro, the one that's shaped like a kind of long D. That is first and I will now take you to OBS where we screen capture the laptop and I go through all of the things on here. Uh, right, here we are on the Adafru, Adafru? Adafruit website for the board. There it is. Nice close up shots of it. I'll show you all the pictures, tell you about it, all the specifications. Uh, right, so we don't really need that bit just now. Ignore, well, not ignore it, but what I would do first, if you are, don't already have it, is go to the Arduino website. Please wait for David's slow-ass laptop to catch up here. Go and download the Arduino, Arduino IDE for whichever relative operating system you're going to install in. And go through your normal installation process. Hopefully I don't have to show you how to do that, because otherwise we are really going to struggle here. So, once you've got Arduino IDE installed, splendid. We'll come back to the Adafruit. Uh, website. Right, so there's a couple of bits we're going to have to add into the Arduino IDE so that it recognises and can use this board. So at the bottom of the product page there is a link to the Adafruit Feather M0 Express guide. If you click on that, did I click on that? Oh yes, it's doing it it's in the background, fine. Let me just close this one because it's the same tab twice. Down here on the left hand side is the Arduino IDE setup which is what we want, because there's a bit of code that we need to put in. Right, obviously stage one was download Arduino IDE. And basically, if you can follow this dialogue, which involves opening up uh, Arduino, the IDE, going to Preferences, and down there where it says Additional Boards Manager, you put in this your URL right here, right, right there. Uh, I'll show you that in the Arduino IDE and let me just do pause OBS temporarily while we add in another window ok so this is Arduino file preferences 
and you'll see here uh, I've got a few board things because uh, I was running the ESP board previously but don't need to worry about that first one, they just get separated by commas you want you'll just be able to paste in the one that's for the uh, Sam, Sam D21 basically, nope that window Put that in that box right there, and then hit OK. Oh, my poor laptop. Go down, right. Using uh, with Arduino ID, go into the next page. And you can choose tools, and then board, board manager, and it will let us pick the correct board, which is tools, board, boards manager. Okay, it's not SEMD, it's 21, it's just SEMD. And then you want to install whichever board it is we are going to be using. So this one here, add a fruit SEMD boards, and you'll see this one mentions the uh, Feather M0, Feather M0 Express, and your install would show install. You click on that, and that installs the board for you. It doesn't really matter if you go and get Simon's code or my code, but I'll be updating and tweaking mine as I go along and leaving different versions up there for you to download and experiment with. So mine's on Bitbucket. I'll leave all the links uh, in the description. But basically, you come onto my Bitbucket, you go over here, these little three dots, or well, there might not be three dots to be inside your screen. You want to download the repository, and that gets you all the files you need to do. The thing, I'm going to call this one a different name, I'm going to call it video for the purpose of me knowing which one it is. Saves that as a zip. Not very big, so it should download pretty quickly. And somewhere, there should be one here called video. And I'm now going to extract this. I really need to install 7-zip. No, don't show me them. All right. Extract those, da da da. Right, the dumb bit Arduino ID does now that it never used to do is when you open the first one. So the main one you're looking for is the web 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 bastard do Sam twenty one Sam D twenty one. Now when you double click that to open it, this file webastard.sn.ino needs to be inside a sketch folder called blah blah blah. Create this folder and move file and continue. Say OK. And then it will open. But what you need to do is then go back into the folder that you just extracted them all from. Right, so when it opens, it will just open that one. And that one is not enough. We need all of them to be at once. So, as I say, you've said yes to the thing. So you go back, you now open your folder again, which will be too deep. And you'll have one in here with only one thing in it. So go back, select all of these. And then put them in that same folder. Ta da! Done. And then go in there and open up the Sound 21. And this time, Arduino will open. And all of the files will be there, ready, ready to roll. Right, while that's doing that, let me show you. Right, I've plugged in my USB on the old uh, laptop. Uh, let me zoom in a bit on the things. <laughs> Right, so, oh, oh great, my cable is not uh, long enough to do this. Zoom back out a bit. Idiot. And now we're going to plug in the board into the USB. Ta-da! Such lights, such twinkling, and it's gone green. And Windows 10 has made the noise that it knows what it's got. So, I'm using Windows 10, and it shouldn't require drivers if you're using a different operating system, Windows 7, 8, etc. You will need. You might need drivers. As I say on the guide, it shows you where to go and get the drivers from. I'm just going to let that dangle there at the moment. As we see, the Feather M0 Express is ready to use. And this is loaded in the background with all of the things you need. And may, I mean, to flash it, you're literally going to tools, 
And we've got, we've picked a board. Ours is a Adifruit Feather M0, so it lives over here in the Adifruit Feather M0 Express. So that's ours. And we're just going to flash the sketch onto the board uh, we want to upload. Actually, you don't even have to do it from then, you can do it from right here. You just go to Upload. It compiles the sketch, depending on how fast your computer and laptop is, depends on how quickly it is able to compile a sketch for you. All right, so now I compiled it. Now we're going to upload it to the uh, Feather. Couldn't find a board because uh, they've chosen the wrong port. Well, that's that's kind of makes sense. That's good. That gives us a chance to do this anyway. And lift this up so we can actually see what it's doing. Uh, tools, board, uh, port. What port is on? Uh, it might be COM10. Let's try COM10. Let's do that again. Upload! As I say, this board's never been in before. This is a brand new board out of the packet. Probably should have checked which COM port it was on. But hey, here we are. Let's just see if we can bodge our way through it. You might have to have a few goes at picking the COM ports. You could, of course, check uh, Windows Device Manager and see which COM port it's actually on. But let's see. Did we even get close this time? Hey, that sounds better. Here we go. We're flashing this time. Here we are. Da, 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 da. And it should just say at the end. Verify successful. Done in 0 0.468 seconds. And that is your board flashed. That's it. Ready to go. You can now unplug this, unplug this, and if you have actually soldered all the pins on, you can basically put that straight into your heater, hit your trigger wire, and off she goes. Now, if you're wondering where the heater has gone, I have sent our one working heater off to Harold, who sent us the first uh, Orbasto board, which I thought was only fair. He sent us one, so I've sent him one back for him to play with. Uh, we'll build another one and get back to making the video on how to order a board from GLC PCB uh, after this video, hopefully. So once again, uh, basically, if you can follow the guide on the internet, on the Adafruit's own website, I mean, it literally takes you through the process step by step. I'm just making it seem more complicated because my laptop's as slow as dog shite when it's trying to do OBS at the same time as all the other things. But hopefully you're not too intimidated by the process. Basically once you've installed Arduino IDE, there's a little bit of faffing about to do to get the actual boards that we want to program installed. Once they're installed, it's a doddle after that. And we'll perhaps do a few more videos on editing bits of code and reflashing it to get things you want. Because perhaps you want to run at a different temperature or you need more fuel, less fuel, more fan, less fan, all these sorts of things. And also if Simon ever makes any more updates to his code and we can flash his new updates perhaps as well. Any questions, comments, etc, etc, as always, leave them down below and I will try my very best to answer them for you. And as always, thanks for watching.